What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another uh, a review for you today. And, um, well, I went to uh, Orlando, um, which is about an hour from where I'm from, and uh, picked up some cigars. It's, um, it's called Corona Cigar Company. And, I mean, this, this place is just awesome. They have three locations in, uh, in the general Orlando area, in uh, Central Florida. And, um, I mean, they had every cigar under the sun. It was the Walt Disney World of cigars. It was, it was awesome. It was impeccable. But um, I noticed that they also had pipe tobacco. So I picked up the infamous Dunhill Nightcap. I've been hearing so much about this tobacco from a lot of the videos I watch, a lot of reviews on it, and people just go crazy over to this this particular blend. So I thought I'd go ahead and give it a shot. Well, it's got a nice little paper cover here. See that? There's a little note from the manufacturer from Dunhill. Right. Here's the actual tobacco itself. It's in kind of like a flattened, um, almost like a cake. It's kind of like those, those flakes where you have to kind of like flake it out, get it loose. That's the uh, that's the loose tobacco itself. See all that? It smells like a. Um, like a log cabin. This uh, I think I think it's the uh, Latakia in it, but um, yeah, it's really outdoorsy, really manly, and I hear that this this uh, particular blend is is pretty strong. Well, I'm used to strong cigars, so let's hope. And uh, by the way, um, I will be doing cigar reviews very very soon. I have plenty of them in my humidor that I'm going to go through. I just wanted to get a good lineup so I'd have a, a, a quite a few videos to, to chain up together. But, um, supposedly this will knock you on your ass, so, we'll see. 1.76 ounces. Cost me twelve ninety five, I believe. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and pack my pipe here. But yeah, if you're ever in the uh, Orlando area, check out Corona Cigar Company. I mean, it's, it's world famous. Uh, if you, you can see some of their videos on YouTube of their um, Rocky of Rocky Patel being there, and uh, you know different manufacturers, um, Cordova Morales are there a lot, and uh, they actually run a uh, tobacco shop um, in Lakeland, and they're awesome. Great cigars too. But uh, yeah, they had every cigar it was, it was aisles and aisles and aisles and they actually um i've never seen this before i thought it was awesome they actually have pre-embargo cuban cigars and i thought that that was just the coolest thing because they're you know they're cigars that are from like the 1950s and believe it or not they even had a cigar there that was rolled two months after general lee surrendered the civil war now that is an old cigar Six hundred and fifty dollars they wanted for it. It was it was not cheap, but I mean, could you imagine saying that you're smoking someone, you know, some something that's you know over you know about almost you know two hundred years old? I mean, that's this is insane. All right, about done here. Get another little pinch on the top here. I like to top mine off just a little bit. Seems to help with forming the coal. All right, we got it all packed up in there. We're gonna taste it. Go ahead and give it a light.
Oop, went out on me. It's a little windy out right now, so that might happen. Well, that's different. It's a lot different than I'm used to. Hmm. It is, uh, and it, it, it's a. Uh, it's obviously a lot. Um, more uh, full-bodied than um, a lot of the t pipe tobaccos that I have tried. Um, I've tried a lot of the uh, Cavendish blends, and this this is a lot stronger. It's very very woodsy, very like almost like a campfire, and a lot of wood notes in it. Probably the lot of kids. It's an acquired taste. This is probably one of those things where you either love it or hate it. And I'm trying to decide right now. It's definitely a stronger tobacco. But, I'm not getting any tongue bite, so that's good. Don't seem to be having any of that problem. Alright guys, I'm going to get to half the bowl. I'll come back and I'll tell you my thoughts on it. So, see you in a second. Alright YouTube, I'm back. A little more than halfway done with the bowl. And, um, it's a very, it's a very, um, oddly pleasant taste. It, uh, it's very acquired. Um, I definitely don't recommend it if you're into something very sweet, because this is the 100% total opposite. It's, um, it's bitter. It's earthy. It's woody. It's definitely full bodied, full flavored, and uh, full strength as well. Um, <laughs> I guess that's why they call it nightcap. It's oddly enjoyable, though. It really is. I can see myself sm uh, smoking this more often. I recommend it. It's just something different you should try, and I mean, with with the uh, the ratings it's getting all over the internet and over the other videos, I mean, people go nuts over this blend, and I had to get in, how to try it. I see what people are saying it's a very, very manly uh, blend to go with. That's for sure. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna head out of here, and. Uh, I promise you, very, very soon, I'm going to get those cigar videos up in no time. I appreciate you guys watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. I'm out of here. Thank you.